Python subroutines explained part three. Subroutines that take parameters. In the previous video called subroutines part two, we looked at how data can be returned when a subroutine ends so that the data can be used elsewhere in the program. In this video, we are going to look how we can send data to the start of a subroutine so that it can be used inside the subroutine. This program has two subroutines. Notice that at the start of each subroutine, there is the name of a variable in the brackets. This is called a parameter. Notice as well that at the place where the subroutines are used, there is also the name of a variable in the brackets. Watch carefully so you understand how this program works. A variable named age is made and an integer stored in it. I've labelled this variable name in green to make it stand out. The subroutine older is called and a copy of the data inside variable age is sent to the subroutine. So Python jumps back up the program, taking a copy of the data in variable age with it. Python creates a local variable named age to store this data in. A local variable named old age is created and the result of adding 10 to whatever is stored in local variable age is stored in this new local variable. The data in local variable old age is printed on the screen. The subroutine has finished running, so Python destroys the local variables age and old age and goes back to the place in the program where the subroutine was called. The subroutine younger is called and a copy of the data inside variable age is sent to the subroutine. So, Python jumps back up the program, taking a copy of the data in variable age with it. Python creates a local variable named age to store this data in. A local variable named young age is created and the result of subtracting 10 from whatever is stored in local variable age is stored in this new local variable. The data in local variable young age is printed on the screen. The subroutine has finished running. So Python destroys the local variables age and young age and goes back to the place in the program where the subroutine was called. Make sure you understand and remember that the word age inside the brackets here tells Python that we want to send the data stored in variable age to subroutine older so that the subroutine can use this data. The word age inside the brackets here tells Python that whatever data is sent to subroutine older must be stored in a local variable named age so it can be used inside the subroutine.